Daniel Adele, better known as Heartwork. That's his track, Midnight Calls, recorded live for BBC, introducing Cambridgeshire. So, Daniel, we are talking about you releasing your EP5, you know, in August last year. Yes. But it hasn't been out for five minutes, and you've already gone and done the next one, Coloured Out, yeah. which was released in December. Crazy. Yeah. It was... I, I didn't realise how short the time was between both EPs. I think... Cause, so, I started doing the Heartwork stuff in May last year, and then I put out the EP in August. But the songs that were on the second EP, Coloured Out, had... The parts of them have been floating around for a you know for the time I was writing recording five. I just didn't want to put an out put out an album. I just wanted to put out an EP. And then I had these other songs. I was like, I might put out another EP. Oh, it's my birthday in a couple of weeks. Let's put it out on my birthday. Two EPs are out by that point, and it's like, oh yeah, there's four months between them. So yeah, it's not a very long time, but I quite like that because it gives people an album almost. But yeah, I guess I guess there's two sides to it, isn't it? Because on the one hand, like you can look at it as you know, you'd just gotten into the hard work side of it, you were yeah. exploring that side of your creativity and you just felt inspired oh, by the was, whole situation. Yeah, very inspired. And the, th- the thing is, if you, if I was to give you like the particular order that you should listen to all the songs off of both EPs, it, there's like a chronological story going on there about things I was going through throughout those months and stuff. And one thing I will set straight, th- the songs do sound quite sad. They're not all about sad things. It's just that's the... St- the, the sound of them you know but um but i'm not just gonna i'm not gonna sit here and start explaining every yeah. little detail of every little song just kind of the, the mood and tone you've set with, yeah. with the ep and you know yeah. if that's how you're feeling at the time and something that you want to portray you know then all to you because it's going to come across on the ep isn't that's it that's exactly the point yeah you found the sounds moved along from five to colored out what's what's been the big developing points i think that colored out sounds a bit more colorful than five um five was very very morose very self-loathing very dark whereas coloured out is still about some of the well it's definitely it's written around the same time as i was going through these things but it's coming from a different headspace like it was more written in the vein of rather than going through those things at the time it was looking back at those things and realizing oh it wasn't too bad you know you're a better person because of all this stuff you know yeah you've made some mistakes along the way but look where you are now exactly yeah and you recently sent us um a track from coloured out i went to parts which yes. we we just loved. We made it our pick of the upload and we loved it so Thank much. You, yeah. Bit of a very lonely the brave sound going on there. <laughs> In the guitaring, yeah. 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 So that was that wasn't intentional. I love Lonely the Brave. I've I first saw them back when they were playing for like five people at the Miller's Arms Sydney. It's many years many years ago and look at them now. But um yeah, that riff just kinda came out and I was like, Yeah, no one else will notice that. Then you picked up on it and I was like, Ah, good. Good. So has anyone else uh, mentioned it yet? No, no one else has. They will now. Although, people have said, well, on, on, on Drop Out Dan EP, there's a riff that sound, that's very Lonely the Bravish. And so, I, I, you know what? They're one of my, I suppose they're one of my influences, one of my inspirations. So it's going to come across. It's going to come across my music at some point. But yeah. It's no bad thing, is no, it? I don't think so. Lonely like, the Brave it, comparisons If you're going to rip great. off anyone, rip them off. <laughs> Brilliant. So I've got to move on to the next point now, because yeah. it's kind of unfortunate news from our point of view <laughs> that you're you're going to move to Cardiff in February. I'm moving to Cardiff in February, yeah. What's, what's brought this on? Um, I'm fed up of living around these parts. Not the people, just I think it's myself. I, I've Throughout the years, I've managed to fall back into some similar routines, some similar things have happened. And it, I just want to get away, you know. I want to experience new things, experience new people, experience a new life. So a very dear friend of mine, uh, he works around the area a lot. Although living in St. Neitz, he works around Cardiff and that area of the country quite a bit. And he said to me, he was like, oh, I'm going to move there in February. Do you want to come? And we kind of tossed it back and forth. Like, oh, yeah, we'll do this. Oh, it'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. We're so good. But no plans were really made. And then in the last three weeks, it's just gone, oh, this is happening. Yeah, this we we've got a flat. Oh, we've put a deposit down. Oh, I've got a new job. Ah, this is terrifying. We're doing this now. So yeah, it's yeah but, next week. But at the same time, so exciting because as you say, oh, yeah. a new opportunity for you to go out and experience a new place. You yeah, know, inspire yourself with new things. Great, you know exactly that. And that, and that is the point because it's as I say, round here. As much as I love this area. I can't. I don't feel I can progress as a person and as a musician, you know, by being around the same places. I need to get out there and try something new. So. Yeah. What's the plan with you when you get down there, music-wise? Um, well, I've already got a couple of contacts from playing around that area before. So the plan is to go there, play the places I know, and then try and expand my my contact list, as you would, and uh, yeah, try out a few things here and there. I want to start putting on shows. That's what I really want to do. I yeah. want to get into promoting because. 
done it a couple of times and I've enjoyed it a lot and I find it quite easy. I know it can be hard at times, but I do find it quite easy. And uh, always helpful when you're a musician, you have a good network of musician friends who you really rate. Yeah, that's the thing. And, and it will be, give me a chance to try and get some of my mates to come to Cardiff and play, you know, rather than playing around the same the same places, you know. So, mm. is there a plan for a, a farewell show before you go? I am playing a show next Thursday, the fifth of February, I think it is, um, at Thursday Night Live at Angley Ruskin Student Union. Uh, I played there back in October and it was lovely and I'm really glad they have me back. I'm on at nine. I don't know how much it is to get in. I think it's about, probably about a fiver or something. But yeah, if anyone's about, come on down. It should be, it should, it should be a laugh. Definitely. My set won't be a laugh because I'm so depressing and so <laughs> sad. But uh, yeah. Any special plans to kind of sign off with it? Ah! Or is that that surprise that people will there, come we'll have to find there out? There is a plan for something and that is what I'm going to say. It's nothing like massive but it's something I... Uh, because I'm going, there are some people I need to say goodbye to. And I'm not very good with goodbyes, so I'm going to do it in song. I love it. That's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Why not, though? It's, it's, you know, it's a big part of you, music and everything. Yeah. So the best way to, to come up with something like that is to approach it I, with song, you know? I think you know? so. I think it's a bit nicer than like, oh, see ya, you know? You know, you could be doing interpretive dance. That might just be weird. You found out my secret. <laughs> <laughs> my whole set is just going to be me dancing. So, I mean, other than other than this gig that's coming up mm. next Thursday, what's the plans about coming back? I mean, obviously, come back to see family, but is, yeah, there, yeah. is there plans to come back just to visit Honestly, friends and do yet. some music? No, there's no plans yet. Um, I want to give it a bit of... A breathing space I do um, probably in the summer at some point I'll be back um, and do a show here and there you know maybe even come back here if there's a slot going um, but uh, wink wink but um, we'll see there are no plans yet no we'll see what happens things change so Definitely. Well, look, Daniel, really, I can't, from the bottom of my heart, it's been an absolute pleasure to have worked with you over the last couple of years, both as Dropout Down, the hard work project Thank when you. you were doing Daniel O'Dell. So, really, we wish you all the best of luck with your move to Cardiff. Thank you so much. And if it's anyone wants to kind awesome. of find out a bit more about you, the Coloured Out EP, where can they find you online? Uh, if you go to uh, heartworkmusic.bandcamp.com, all the links for like Facebook and Twitter and everything are on there. So, go there, you can find it all on there. Fantastic. Well, look, we're going to get another live track from you now to close yeah. out this session. And this is a track from your Coloured Out EP. Do you want to tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, this one's called Fear and Clothing. It was written, it was actually written before the whole EP5 was written. I actually wrote it around that time. And it's, to put it, to put it frankly, it was written about the day that I moved out of my ex-girlfriend's flat and I had to say goodbye to my pet cat. <laughs> to end it on a really sad note.